Hey there, how are you? It's been a while. So I was asked to create a video about socket programming. And I decided to create some. In the first one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a simple TCP socket and just communicate a text, see how it goes, what the coding is. Then go to the next one, which has more details. Sit back, get yourself a cup of coffee, relax and enjoy the show. Okay, perfect. In the meanwhile, I created two files, uh, socket client and socket server, you can see here. And we should consider that type of communication as client and server. Client is the one who initiates, who generates the request or creates that. And the server is the one who uh, responds to the request. So basically we need something to listen, actively listening for any request which comes and then replies. First step in programming is to import libraries. Either you install or import. So it's inherent inside that you just do import socket, super duper simple. Then after that, you go for initials. If you have any constant variable or if you have any variable, whatever, you define. IP address. I'm going to do what? I'm going to create a program in a way to deliver it to somebody to use it. I mean, I can leave local host for my IP address or whatever, but if we want to do it in a proper way, let's do it in the way that if you deliver it to somebody, they don't need any sort of modifications. IP, so that output of that command is my local host name. Or my host name and then i'm gonna do port let's say one two three four five whatever then do buffer size which i go to 100 that's it there are three variables i did them in order to save me some time i do socket dot socket so in this way there is no need to type it like repetitively First step, binding. I'm gonna do SKT, then do bind. I should, my positional argument to that function is a tuple, and that tuple has IP and port. IP and port that I did, and then I do SKT, then listen. So, so far I'm opening the socket, binding IP and port, and I'm listening. So let's pass a debug print fun, uh, statement here and the server is ready or listening or whatever then I go to the next line so what will happen here I am saying okay I'm listening but I need to accept if any uh, connection request comes forward and the thing is that that, uh, that thing it returns two variables i do socket accept that's it and then print first thing first the uh, client address is then i oops okay then i come here client address is addr after that okay, okay i have a div and data is the, what I'm receiving. So that can then receive, I'm gonna store them somewhere. So I need the capacity, which means my buffer size. Then after buffer size, do you do decode? Let's pass encoding uh, UTF-8, which is the standard one. And then you do print. Um, uh, the sorry f the received data is then you pass data if i run this guy it says my server is ready so the server is listening let's go to my client what i'm gonna do here first thing first i'm gonna in Port. So import socket and then I do the same initials or fixed or constant variables for myself. 
I do socket get host name. So I need a port which should be the same. So I'm gonna pass the same. But here we don't need any buffers as we're gonna send the message. Uh, let me save some time for myself. Socket, socket. Perfect. Then in the server we were binding. Here what we do? We do connect. So I do SKT connect instead of binding IP and port, you do connect IP port. Cool. And then you are done with the client side. You need to send a message. I'm going to say my message is. And then, okay, I should do the other side. We had SKT received. Here we have send. I'm gonna send, send to what? Send my message. And obviously, we need coding. We should code that. So I'm gonna do encode and then let's do ASCII. And finally, SKT close. Perfect my server is ready if i come here and i do python 3 and then s client look at that what happened here so we had the client address is that which is my computer ip address this is the port and this is the message perfect so the simple socket that we created it worked if i run this guy uh, if I, what, what is happening here? Why the connection? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm running the client side. If I run the server again and run this guy, and let me do that again and do that again, I want to show you every time the port address is different. So, what will happen when you have a communication in a network? You have a, an ephemeral port which generates by the one who initiates the communication as the source port. And every time it's a random number and it's a, it's an ephemeral port and it changes every time we have the communication. Let's look more here to see what we have here. Look at that. We are doing what we are coding the message, but what is that coding for? Are we adding it for security? Uh, what if I remove that coding? I don't want to have any. I just want to have it like that. Let me run that. Okay, I hit an error. And what, what it says, it says when you wanna send an, a string, you have to decode it. So it's from the library. And it's, it's, it's not something that you can do anything with that. What is happening on this side? Look at that, the socket is opening. You have the port, you have the IP address, but the script wasn't able so the script the client side it worked till here 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 and it was the moment it couldn't because uh it was supposed to decode the message then we didn't have the coding it didn't send it it showed me the error but it opened that so do i uh let me come back in code and then let's ask so if i do it now um, if i let me back if i run the server and run this guy again it works what is that buffer size here if i decrease the buffer size let's say i make it 10 and run the server and run this guy look at that now i have smaller shorter the buffer and uh, the length that I can get is shorter as well. I cannot get the whole message, just the hello from came to me. So it is the reason that we had a buffer size here. What else we can do? Can I send special characters? Let me, so if you're a Mac user, you get F, N, and E, then you can send special characters like that. Can I do it? If I run the server again, the server is ready. And uh, you know what? 
I'm gonna stop the server from that side that the server is listening. Actually, we're supposed we could have done that as well, like close, and but in our case now it doesn't work. If I come here and put it into the while true, there is no need to run it at the time. Server is ready, so let's just modify the client side. If I run that client, the same happened. It said ASCII cannot encode that specific character for you. So um, socket was open, but it couldn't send the message. What should I do with that? What if I delete this ASCII here and run that again? Voila, it worked. But what happened? So when you don't mention, by default, it does UTF-8. And what is UTF-8? It's a standard way of coding that has more characters. It has special characters. Uh, so it's, you simply can just not type uh, the, the ASCII name here and it works for you. This is the first step. Second, how about the other, uh, let's say, languages? If I bring this guy here and I just do, let's say, Google Translate, and I open this side from English to Japanese, copy this guy, come to the client, and I just pass this. Uh, the server is ready. Where is my terminal so this is my terminal and if I run that you see first of all we're sending a special characters and every time we have a different uh, terminal source port so so far we know how to open it how to open the socket how you need the decoding if you want to send a message you can leave that part empty then there won't be any uh, limitation for you and the most important part here that we're going to talk about that in this uh, upcoming video or maybe videos uh, you, when you open a socket in fact what you do when you bind you set the protocol you're going to do datagram you're going to do UDP or TCP however if you don't mention anything by default it's TCP so the socket that we were doing was TCP and uh, specifically in this case it wasn't a broadcast message so it was a unicast then obviously that socket was TCP if you don't mention it it is TCP if you don't mention anything here it's UTF-8 and uh, yeah it was the intention for that video a simple super duper simple uh, and straightforward forward script to open a socket and communicate a simple message even in different languages with emojis and special characters Hopefully you found that useful and stay tuned for the next video, guys. Bye. Happy weekend. Bye-bye.